dear aspirants in the upsc examination hall sometimes we get confused about term um, certain factual things uh, uh, re recalling certain data certain facts uh, but with some context with if we are thoroughly analyzing the pyq at some places we can minimize this kind of uncertainty or some kind of um, um, problem with recalling factual things i am going to discuss one such question it is a simpler question uh, 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 which was asked in 2021 but how uh, we can solve much in much simpler way we can see that uh, this particular question was asked in 2021 with reference to the water on planet earth consider the following statements so th with reference to the water on planet earth uh, consider the following statements amount of water in rivers and lakes is more than the amount of ground water okay so it is saying <coughs> amount of waters in rivers and lakes it all together river plus lake if we see this amount it is more than ground water then the amount of water in polar ice caps and glaciers so ice caps plus glaciers it is more than the amount of ground water so here with respect to Uh, the cumulative amount of rivers and lakes, or with respect to the cumulative amount of water in ice caps and glaciers, it is saying both these amounts uh, they are more more than the amount of groundwater. So here we have to recall uh, so many things with respect to this is a this is a uh, this is a question which is uh, very particular about the amount of fresh water. We know that the amount of uh, generally we all we will we will be able to recall that around ninety seven percent of the water on earth is uh, saline water and remaining three uh, percent odd amount is uh, fresh water. So within that recalling the amount of water sometimes becomes challenging. I'm not saying it is uh, very difficult, but if if we are, uh, if if we are able to um, recall the exact amount of water percentage of water, it is well and good. But sometimes it is it becomes challenging because what uh, what we see we believe sometimes. Okay, because we see rivers and lakes which are available in the surface water, we we will get a perception that okay it might be more than ground water. <coughs> okay. but how a pyq exactly answers this question without it solves this ambiguity that i will show you see this compare with this uh, question in 2013 in the question itself we get answer to this question okay so the in in question what they are giving the statement what it has been mentioned here is on the planet earth most of the fresh water exists as ice caps and glaciers okay in question itself they have given this data so uh, if we see the fresh water resources so most of it is ice caps so this is the given statement okay that means the amount of ice caps and glaciers here also they have given ice caps plus glaciers and look at the second statement the amount of water in polar ice caps and glaciers the amount of water in ice caps and glaciers together it exceeds any other water sources that means obviously the second statement is right in the question of 2013 pyq itself we got certainty to one of the um, one of the statements in 2021 and then uh, the a little bit of ambiguity which we face with the first statement also with respect to the question which was asked in 2021 how it will get solved uh by you uh, are completely solving this question okay so coming back to the 2013's question out of remaining okay out of remaining fresh water so uh, a major chunk we have we know that it is assigned to uh, ice caps and glaciers out of remaining the largest portion that is the second uh, largest amount of fresh water exists in what form okay so here the options are it is found in atmosphere as moisture and clouds clouds it is found in uh, fresh water lakes and rivers it exists as ground water and it exists as soil moisture so when we analyze this question uh, it, it, uh, the answer comes as like it exists as ground water let's say that we are solving this pyq in uh, uh, 2013's pyq we are solving and we have looked into the answer key that the answer for this is c that means we have got this order first is the ice caps and glaciers and then it is ground water the second largest source of fresh water is ground water that means here 
if we if we come back to the first question in 2021 the amount of water in rivers and lakes is more than the amount of ground water when we say that the second largest source of fresh water is ground water that means the amount of water in rivers is la and lakes it is obviously it should be less than the amount of ground water by this we can conclude that the first statement is wrong just by analyzing or knowing the 2013 question it is i could i would say that these two questions are equal that means the same data the same facts the same uh, <coughs> analysis which has been asked in 2013 only the language has been changed and the format of the question is changed but the but the core of the question is same the elements which has been asked in 2013 question the same elements have been repeated here the ice caps and glaciers fresh water ground water and then um, um, water in the form of rivers and lakes it is the same question in different form so with that if we had thoroughly analyzed in 2013 20, in 2021 it was a it was much easier to solve this question the, the, the answer is b two only so let's verify the facts which we have known now so this is the uh, uh, piece of uh, information which i have taken from ncrt so about the distribution of wa water bodies the major chunk of water body in on the earth exists as saline water out of the fresh water the large chunk the major chunk is the ice cap and then comes ground water and then a uh, very least percentage when we compare to ice caps or ground water is the freshwater lakes even if we include inland seas and salt lakes and rivers it will never exceed the amount of ground water not even the 10 percent of amount of ground water so with this we understanding we have verified that the, that our answer is right so water distribution on earth 95 percent salt water out of 2.5 odd percent of uh, fresh water larger chunk just for the graphical representation or the pictorial representation i am showing you this it is the ice water uh, ice caps and glaciers and then comes ground water out of the remaining that is out of the uh, uh, fresh water sources then it is very small percentage of water which is available in the form of uh, rivers lakes and soil moisture for the use not even one percent not even 0 0.5 percent so with this understanding let's look at one of the questions which was asked in 2010 also just to register our understanding so on the planet earth the fresh water available for use amounts to about less than less than one percent of total water found yes it is less than one percent and then of the total fresh water found on the planet earth 95 percent is bound bound up in polar ice caps and glaciers so if we analyze this data 0.6 uh, 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 2.0 percent of the total water uh, exists as ice caps and glaciers and 2.2.0 um, out of 22.7 it might come around uh, 65 to 70 percent i could say roughly it will never come as the uh, 95 percent it is it is the exact exact figure which has been given that found on planet earth 95 percent is bound up in polar ice caps and glaciers this exact data we know that 2 2.0 out of 2.7 it never exceeds 70 percent maybe so this is a wrong statement by this understanding we have just to register our understanding we are solving this question and the answer is a this is how the twin in 2021 prelims uh, my pyq analysis of 2013 helped me to solve directly this question without any ambiguity if you are liking this content please subscribe the channel and comment your feedback thank you